Collie Ambly Irrigation is Australia's most modern irrigation company, unquestionably. Um, it's also one of the most modern open channel operations in the world. Uh, the big crops are, are cotton, rice, wheat, barley, and there's a variety of vegetables and fruits grown in the area as well. CRCL's board took the decision to modernise in 2002, and that was largely uh, out of a desire to, to provide improved levels of service to, to our customers, to our members, and also to make serious water savings because the board at that time could see the writing on the wall, water was becoming increasingly precious and every drop had to count. In all we've um, got just under 1200 flume gates, some of them are on farm outlets of course, uh, and the others are the multi-gate regulating structures. The essence of our of this highly sophisticated open channel system is total channel control technology. So what that means is that uh, right down to farm level, uh, all the flows are, com are controlled um, via uh, a series of automated gates that are linked by a broadband communication system. Uh, it means that you can get precision control of flows throughout the irrigation system and that all those flows uh, are completely automated. If a farmer wants to order water, they either do it over the web or over the phone. Um, they can put their order in, the system automatically checks whether they've got enough water in their account. If, it ha if they have, it starts the outlet at the time and at the flow rate they want, and all that process doesn't touch a human hand. We're not involved in that at all. It's all done automatically. So The two hours still blows people away. <laughs> yeah, the fact that we can um, a farmer can order water with two hours notice um, and if it's an emergency even quicker than that um, there yeah, for a lot of people that are on you know, seven day ordering or fortnight ordering or even 48 hours it, it's it just makes it such a difference to the farmers operation. Prior to Rubicon technology coming along typically a farmer could get eight to nine megalitres um, per day onto their property We've got farmers now who are, who are taking 100 megalitres per day onto their property and we're about to connect somebody who will take 300 megalitres a day. That fast watering, fast water on and off a crop is the most efficient way. So there's water savings if you can water more quickly. Um, we basically think we've got the system to a point where our losses are pretty much fixed. So it doesn't matter whether we're delivering 100,000 megs a year or 400,000 we think our, our losses are pretty much consistent. And so um, we're down to basically some seepage, evaporation obviously, and, and that's about it. We've seen the, the level of water losses um, drop from on average about 100,000 megalitres per year, now down into the, into the area of about 30,000 megalitres per year. In fact, last year we had our lowest ever losses uh, of about 26,000 megalitres. Now that, that saving of 65 to 70,000 megalitres year in and year out um, is an enormous saving. And that water, that saved water, goes back to our members as additional water. In, in the years where we had, in 06, 07, we were given 10% from the state, from off the river, and we were able to give another 17% internally to our customers. It was the difference between some of them going broke or staying in business. That was probably the time we went from some of the farmers being against the, uh, the, the automation stuff to wholeheartedly embracing it when they saw the benefits like that coming back to them. So you can appreciate just how valuable those water savings are. They've allowed us to provide an improved level of service and they've meant that, uh, that our farmers in fact get access to more water, not just the water that's been allocated through uh, the water sharing plan in Australia, but also uh, those savings made by the company itself. So that cemented the relationship between the customers uh, and the company. Um, that's given the business itself greater certainty of revenue. Uh, it's also that greater certainty of revenue has meant that we've been able to stabilise our pricing. Our customers are now paying less in real terms than what they were in 2008. The other great thing that we've found out of the system is just the level of data you have. You know, everything in the system is logged. Um, your flow rates, your water levels, the battery voltage, the solar panel voltage, the amps drawn, everything. We're currently trying to do, fix up our system to improve the capacity of some sections. 
and the data we get out of the system is just gold because we can go and look at particular regs and say, okay, what flow can we get through this? Not, not what the theoretical is or the, you know, what the design might be, but what have we physically got through there when we've pushed it really hard? And we've got all that data, we can go back and look at it. From day to day, we do monitoring of the system, repairs on flume gates, and just day to day housekeeping. The gates are easy to maintain. Um, once you're up to speed with the technology and they're, they're built well and they're, they're reliable. Um, we're pretty much a business house uh, staff now. Um, we do have people that watch the system after hours and I'm, I'm part of the group that, that does that from time to time. But it's, it's, you know, you do it from home, you log on for five minutes every hour. You know, if something goes wrong, you, you can log on and fix it. But, you know, I went camping over Easter and watched a particular channel. I could do it as long as I had comms back here over the internet, I could do it. And there's a lot of things you can fix in the system remotely. What's really interesting is that the National Water Commission um, has over recent years in Australia benchmarked the irrigation uh, delivery systems and, and we've consistently come out as the, as the most efficient open channel operation in Australia. If you um, are delivering water more efficiently, you're in a position as a company to decide whether or not you can make water available to address local environmental needs. Um, less wastage is good for uh, farmers but it's also good for the environment. So I, I guess any system that is manual and is looking at automation, I'd, I'd be recommending the, the Rubicon system. Um, I've always said, I mean, there's a lot of others dabbling in this space, but I don't think, I think Rubicon's 10 to 15 years ahead of anyone as far as the fully integrated system with the, both the hardware, the software, the algorithms that run all the, all the channels and everything like that. So yeah, I'd highly recommend it to anyone.